Today we're going to go ahead and start our lesson. It's on scale drawings. There's a few things that I want you to know and understand before we kind of get into it. Um, a scale drawing is something that's proportional, which means it's balanced, um, but it could be like a 2D drawing of an object. What would you say that this right here is a picture of? Florida and Georgia, okay? Now, if you were to see that right there, it looks like Florida and Georgia are very close together. Like it would take you seconds to get there. Is that the truth? No. No, okay. Why would it look like it's not that far away from each other right because there? So far it's because it's 2D. Okay, because it's 2D, all right? It's, it's just something, away. it's been scaled on a very small scale, even though it's something that's very big. Let's look at this next one, a scale modeling. The difference here, the first one was a drawing, so that's like a map. This one is modeling. What is this 3D model a picture of? Statue. How tall do you think that little statue right there or that little model is? A couple inches, okay. How tall do you think the actual Statue of Liberty is? One mile high. It is not only a couple inches. So for this, you can see scale modeling. This is a model of something that's really, really big, but we squared it down to be just a little bit smaller so that we could kind of get an idea of what it looked like, all right? So today, I'm gonna to talk to you about a scale. It's the model or the drawing measurement, so the little tiny amount over the actual measurement, okay? And here you can see the numerator is usually a one, all right? So go ahead and put that into your notes for me right there. Repeat after me, model over actual. If you understand that, the scale is always going to be the model, the tiny thing, over the actual size, and then we can figure out what the actual size would be. So let's go ahead and do right here just a little example. You should have your rulers there with you. On your ruler, there's two sides. One side is centimeters, and one side is inches. You are going to be using this centimeter side, okay? So I want you to go ahead. You can see here I've got a scale. My scale is one centimeter equals 50 actual miles, okay? So I want you to go ahead and take your rulers and measure the distance between Cadillac and Detroit. All right, so what we're gonna do basically here is we're gonna find a proportion. Remember, a proportion is two ratios that equal each other. The first thing you're always gonna do is you're gonna take your scale. My scale is one centimeters equals 50 miles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do one centimeters over 50 miles equals, now if I have something like this, this says centimeters per mile. What do you think my units need to be over here? Centimeters per, centimeters per mile. Once again, this is a proportion, so they equal each other, which means the left side says centimeters per mile. That means the right side we're trying to find centimeters per mile. Round it to the nearest whole number. How many centimeters was the distance between Cadillac and Detroit? Four. Four. So we're going to go ahead and put four centimeters over here on this side. Do we know the actual distance yet? No, no we don't. So we're going to go ahead and put that as like an unknown X. Okay. Now, if you remember, when we're trying to find X, there's three different methods that I have taught you. You can do it by what? Cross, Cross products. products. What else? Multiplication. <laughs> Multiplication. And what's the other one? And mental math, okay? So for me, I think mental math would probably be the easiest. We are attempting to find out what X is. So I've got to figure out how to get from a 50 to an X. In order to do that same thing, I've got to figure out how I got from a 1 to a 4. How would I do that? Four by four. I multiplied by 4. So if I multiply the top by 4, yeah, multiply you multiply the bottom by 4. So here you can see 1 times 4 equals 4. 50 times 4 equals... 200. So the distance between them is 200 what? 200 miles. Okay, because once again, this was centimeters per mile, just like this was centimeters per mile. So the correct answer is 200 miles. Then go ahead and box that in. The next one is asking us to find the actual distance between the cities Kalamazoo and Ann Arbor. I want you once again, use your ruler to measure the distance. As I'm doing this though, guys, the very first thing you will put every single time is your scale. What was my scale? Um, one, centimeter. one centimeter per 50, per 50 miles. So you're gonna go ahead and start that off again. One centimeter per 50 miles equals, and once again, we're going to be doing centimeters per mile for our second ratio. All right, you guys go ahead and find the distance on your own. All right, when you guys measured it, what'd you get? 
Okay, 2.5 centimeters. Now I'm trying to find the actual distance. Do I know what it is yet? No. I do not, so I'm going to go ahead and just put an X. All right, now if you wanted to, once again, you could do mental math. You could also use cross products. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and show you it by cross products, all right? What is one centimeter times X? One X, which is just plain old X, equals, and then I've got to multiply 50 times what? 2.5. Times 2.5. Guys, what's 50 times 2.5? 125. 125. Okay, so going back, what is my answer with units? 125 miles. All right, so that is the estimated distance between Kalamazoo and Ann Arbor. For this one, we're using the same kind of idea. It says to find the missing dimension and use the scale 1 to 6, okay? For when you do this, you are always going to do the scale first. So as a fraction, what would that look like? 1 over 6, one over six okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put this 1 over 6 equals, repeat after me, model over actual. Modern over actual. So you will always have the model size over the actual size. If I am looking over here at this first one, what is the model size? 12 inches. 12 inches, okay? So over here, I'm going to put model over actual. This is 12 inches over, do I know the actual size? No. I don't know it yet, so I'm just going to put an X, all right? Who would say mental math is the easiest way to find these things? I think mental math is the easiest. Some people like cross, uh, cross products the best. But let's just imagine, I'm trying to find the X, so I've got to figure out how to get from a 6 to an X. In order to do that, I have to figure out how I go from a 1 to a 12. What's the missing link? Divided by 6. Guys, how do I get from a 1 to a 12? Multiply by 12, so times 12. If I multiply the top by 12, you also multiply the bottom by 12. Guys, what's 6 times 12? 72. Okay, so x is going to equal 72. We're going to go ahead and put it over here. Although the model was only 12 inches, the actual size was 72 inches. All right, does that make sense how we're doing that? Let's go to the next one. I am looking for the model this time. I actually already know the actual. But remember, the first thing you're going to start with every time is the scale. William, what's my scale on this one? One to six, okay? One to six equals, everyone say this, model over actual. Model over actual. Okay, Madison, what's the model for this one? Mm -hmm. Not the model. Look, this is the column for the model. So what's my model? Mm -hmm. Right now it's unknown, so what should I put? X. Okay, let's just put an X. Alexis, what's my actual? 18. 18, okay? Once again, I do not care which way you do it. You can go ahead and do cross products if that's the way you like best. What is 1 times 18? Times 3. Oh, wait. 18. Okay, 1 times 18 is going to equal 18, and that's going to equal 6x. So if I had 18 equals 6x, how do I get x by itself? You divide by 6. Guys, what is 18 divided by 6? x equals 3. Okay, how many of you would say that was a little longer than the mental math? Okay, mental math is definitely the fastest one if it could work, and you definitely could have done mental math there. So let's go ahead and put this over here for the model. I want you and your partner to do the last two together. Okay, so remember, we're always going to start with the scale first, so 1 over 6, and then you want model over actual, so it's going to be 20 over x, okay? So let's do mental math on this one. I'm trying to get from this 6 over to the x, which means I can figure that out from getting a 1 to a 20. Guys, how do I get from a 1 to a 20? Okay, I'm going to multiply by 20 because 1 times 20 equals 20. And then the bottom, I've got to multiply by 20. So what is x? x equals 120. All right, go ahead and box that in. How many of you guys, you and your partner, got that? Excellent. Okay, the next one, I always start with the what, guys? Okay, the scale at the very beginning. So my scale is 1 over 6, just like the other ones, equals, what's model over actual here? 2, two over x. x. Okay, so remember, I'm trying to get from a 1 to a 2 in order to get from a 6 to an x. How do I get from a 1 to a 2? Multiply by two. I multiply by 2 on top and bottom, and that makes x equal 12. How many of you feel like you understand how to figure this out? 
All right, we've got just one more example that we're going to do today. I want you guys to flip to the back. All right, for the next one, we are going to use this scale 1 to 12. So for us, just to kind of show work, we're talking about three different items. Write this down for me just like this. The first one we're going to talk about is the mattress. The next one we'll be talking about is the water tower. And what's the final one? The football helmet. Okay, we'll just write helmet. Whenever I'm trying to figure out model sizes or actual sizes, what should I start with every single time? Scale. Start with the scale, okay? What scale did it tell me to use this time? Um, one, to one to 12. So we're gonna go ahead and start one to 12. Repeat after me, model over actual. Model over actual. Okay, so what am I gonna write for my second ratio? 6.25 6 over, over x. All right. Mental math is probably the easiest one to use here because if you remember with a scale factor, I always need to have a numerator of one. So how do I get from a one to a 6.25? You multiply by what? Okay, I'm multiplying by 6.25 on top and bottom. Okay, so one times 6.25 equals 6.25. What is 12 times 6.25? 75. Okay, so x equals 75. I'm going to go ahead and put that up there. Although the length for that on the model was only 6.25 inches, the actual length is going to be 75 inches. All right? I want you guys to go ahead and do the next two with your partner. Um, who would like to help me on the water tower? What would you get, Brody? Help me out. What do I start with every time? 1 to 12. Okay, 1 to 12 equals? Uh, um, 32 and then X. 32 over X. Okay, which method did you use? Mental math. Mental math. What's the missing link? Uh, like X, what is X? No, what's the missing link to get from 1 uh, to 32? Uh, times, er, times 32. Okay, times 32. On top and bottom. On the top and the bottom. So what'd you get for X? How many of you guys also got 384? All right, excellent. Make sure that you put that up there. 384 is correct. Who would like to do the last one for me? Let me have Nehemiah. Uh, what do I start with? You put 1 over 12. Okay, we always start with that scale. And then you put equals x over 24. Equals x over 24. Which method did you use? Mental math. All right, how do I get what's my missing link right here? 2. Okay, times 2. Times two. And what do you get? 2. x equals 2. Go ahead and put that up there and box it in. Anyone have any questions? Tonight's homework is simply going to be to finish the turkey coordinate plane, okay? So I want you guys to pull it out right now and you can start working on it.